Hi friends, Cindy here. Today we are going to make flannel burp cloths. Um, I really like flannel burp cloths. I'm the mom of four children and when my kids were babies I loved, loved having burp cloths and I actually preferred the flannel ones. I really like them because I think they're really soft. They wash up well and the more they were washed the softer they get and um, I like how they fold and they stack. These design that I'm going to show you today actually has the reinforced, I don't know if you can see that, but the center is reinforced, which is really good. You put it over your shoulder, it can collect any mishaps, but it also makes the, the burp rag fold really nicely, which I really like. Um, I, my youngest is not a baby anymore, but I always, maybe once, twice a year, I buy some flannel and I create several of these, several sets. I usually give them in sets of two or three. Um, and I like to always have them on hand so that if I know somebody that is pregnant, that off, very often is a gift that I will give. I will often give some burp rags and some baby board books because I love books too. So um, just start the baby off right. Flannel is wonderful because there are so many colors and designs now for flannel. Almost every fabric store that I know sells flannel. Even my favorite little quilt shop sells flannel. Um, so I love that. Um, one thing I'll say before we get started is you definitely want to wash your flannel first. Um, you buy it at the store, bring it home, make sure you wash it at least once. Sometimes I even wash it twice all the way through, wash and dry, wash and dry before I actually cut into it because the, the flannel will shed quite a bit and it will shrink. So you want to go ahead and get it let it shrink before you stitch it together. And this pattern that I'm going to show you today, this design, I'm not really sure if it's a pattern, but um, it with one yard of flannel will yield two burp cloths. Um, so I just wanted to say that. And now we will, I will show you the fabric that I am going to use today. I got this really cute dragonfly fabric. I also have this really, I love this little rosebud fabric. I think that is just so precious and it's flannel. It's so soft. I have actually already cut this. I have not cut the dragonfly yet because I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you a little tip with cutting. So let's see, I have this, spread this out and so we're going to need to cut, like I said, we need it two, one yard will make two burp cloths. And the size fabric that we need for each burp cloth, we need to cut it down to 18 inches in length by 42 inch wide. And usually the 42 inch wide is kind of standard. So you can leave the selvages on, you know, the selvages are the, the strong edges, the woven edges on the lengthwise grain. Um, so I usually leave those on. And like I said, this has already been washed and dried and I've ironed it because I wanted to try to get as many wrinkles and stuff out of it so that so that I can hopefully cut it better, cut it well, I should say. Um, but anyway, here's a little tip I wanted to give you. I have a, a green self-healing mat. I've had this forever. But the thing is, they, they stay really good forever, as long as you keep them out of the direct heat. And then, of course, you'll need a rotary cutter. Um, that is one way to cut the flannel for this burp rag. You can use the, the ruler and the rotary cutter. If you do not have a ruler and a rotary cutter, you can still make this. Um, one thing that I have done in the past is sometimes I will take wrapping paper and use the back side of it, the white side, and then use a yardstick and trace off whatever size rectangle I need, and then cut it out and then just lay your, your fabric out and put that down as a pattern piece. So if you don't have a ruler and a rotary cutter, or if you choose not to use it, then you can always just create a pattern from, you know, just some large piece of paper or even tissue paper. Um, a lot of times with cotton, I will just measure, clip it, and rip it, but I, I don't really recommend that with flannel. For me, 
the edges usually get really warped doing that. Um, so I just prefer to cut it. But one thing I wanted to show you that might make it easier for you, and maybe you already know this, but I have all four, I have, I have this folded. This is in half. And then I have the selvages brought up to, to meet that. So I have four, four thicknesses of fabric right here. And sometimes when you're trying to separate those, sometimes when I'm trying to cut the edge, let me see if you can see that. Sometimes it's tricky to get super close to the edge and I don't want to take a ton off because I want to utilize, let me slide that over a little bit more. I want to utilize all the fabric that I have. So I don't want to cut a ton off, but yet when I put it like this and I line this up at the bottom, the, the one inch mark at the bottom, so I know it's straight across. So therefore, if that's straight across, I know this will be straight across because of the right angle. But when I come in here and try to cut it, well, it gets kind of tricky. One thing I like to do is if you have a second ruler, set this one up, however you, you know, wherever you want it, put the second one down to mesh right against it. And then slide that one out of the way, hold this one tight and cut it. And there we go. There you have your nice little right angle. So that is the first cut. And when I learned that little trick, I have used it pretty much ever since because I, ju I just love that. Um, and then of course the ruler, this ruler is 12 and a half inches, which is nice, but again, I need 18 inches. So I could use this or I can just use my mat, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to slide that down to the beginning mark. And then I'm going to come down here to the 18 inches. Set this down. Set that down. And then I'm going to cut again. Let's see if I got that all the way through. I did. Excellent. Okay. So there's my first. That's going to be my first burp rag. Or burp cloth. I always call them burp rags. I don't really know what they're called, but I like them. So here's the second one. Starting at zero, going down to 18. And we'll slide the ruler in at the 18. Get the cutter. I always leave my cutter disengaged unless I am physically using it right now. So that is the first step for making these adorable burp cloths. Cut, cut a piece of fabric 18 inches long by 42 inches wide. Then I'm going to show you how you are going to fold it. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to do some folds and some we're going to put some pins in. So before you open your fabric, um, what I like to do is, this is my second piece that I haven't done anything to yet except for cut. Put the selvages together from top to bottom and then put a pin in right there. That will be your center and then do the same thing on the other side. And that's a super easy way to find your center of your fabric. You can of course measure if you prefer that. I just like to do that little tip. I do it whenever I sew. If I just need to find the center of something, I just fold the two ends together and put a pin there and mark the center. You can also um, put a little notch with your scissors. I just don't use scissors as often to do that because I sometimes have a tendency to cut too far. So I like to do the pin. So anyway, put your fabric face down, wrong sides up. You're gonna fold in both sides five inches both sides. So like mine, I already have it folded in five inches. And at the top and the bottom, measure in two and a half inches 
and put a pin. You can also do the folding again and measure if you want. It was easier for me just to do the ruler for that. Do that on both sides. And then you're going to take the fabric and you're going to flip it over. This time it's going to be right side up. So there's the fabric right side up. And this time you're going to met or you're going to fold both sides in nine inches. But if we placed our pins correctly, then our pins should guide us to where we need to fold to. So take your pins, like take my left side here, and I'm gonna fold it to where my pins match, match up. Let's see if I measured correctly. It's actually about nine and a half inches, but we'll go with it. Sometimes the width, since I didn't cut the width, I just went by the um, salvages. There we go. Let's see, so we're going to have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five layers of flannel in the center of our burp rag, and then two on either side. That's what gives it that nice integrity. So now that I've matched these up, I'm actually going to take some of these pins that I've used and pin the pieces together. And then I'm going to swing it around and do the other side as well. I don't like to use a ton of pins when I sew, but if I need to, I will. So I'm just going to put these in here, put one over here, and get another one, oops, get a different one, out of here. Okay, and then we are going to go to the sewing machine.